What is up guys, I am the Partyboy376, the mastermind behind Halloween Horror Nights here at Universal Studios Orlando on the Palace Network. And today is episode 1 of where I take you behind the scenes of what it's like running Halloween Horror Nights here on the Palace Network. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> So now that I am at my undisclosed secret location here on Universal Studios, today in episode number one, we are going to be talking about three different things. What has been announced so far for this year's event, the backstory of each of the houses that have been announced, and the different locations we could possibly be seeing the entrances of these houses throughout the park. So let's start with what has been announced so far. I'm going to try to put pictures on the screens for you to help you kind of get a visual of what is coming to this year's event. So starting off, the first house that we got announced to us, that, that was announced on March 27th, 2019, was Stranger Things. Now this house is a returning house from last year's event. This house will feature seasons two and three. Now season three is not out yet, Season 3 airs on July 4th, 2019 this year. So what can we expect from this house? A little bit of a backstory of what we can expect. So from Season 2, you'll come face to face with Demodogs and iconic scenes from like Chief Hopper's house all the way into Season 3 to Starport Mall. So you're going to be seeing some familiar scenes if you watch Season 2 and if you watch Season 3. Um, the main ones they talk about, like I said, are Chief Hopper's Cabin and the Starcourt Mall. Um, this event takes place from September 6th through November 2nd this year. So it is starting a little bit earlier this year, which I am excited for. More dates to scare people, which is going to be awesome. Um, so that is basically it for Stranger Things. Um, last year they did Season 1. This year they're doing seasons two and three, combining them, and I think this is going to be the last year for Stranger Things until maybe more seasons come out of the show. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> so the next house that got announced to us on April 12, 2019 is Nightingale's Blood Pit. Now this is another house that was done back in a previous year and they brought it back and a little bit of a backstory on what it is so it takes place in ancient rome now who are the nightingales that's the real question let me read to you from the website of what these nightingales are as the blood soaks into the earth the nightingales feed on the dead and dying the nightingales are gr grisly race of creatures that have been here since the dawn of time you may think you're familiar with these past feeding frenzies, but you haven't seen them like this. They'll try to survive alongside the gladiators as the nightingales tear into their victims and notice that fresh blood has come to their midst. So this is going to be a very interesting house. Um, I'm excited for this one. Um, I'm not quite sure where they're going to put it just yet. We will talk about the locations just in a little bit, but like I said, we are going to be taking place in ancient Rome. These feeding frenzies are going on. We're trying to survive with these gladiators from the Nightingales, and hopefully you'll make it out alive. All right, the final house that we have so far, as of I am recording this on May 10th, 2019, this last house was announced on April 29th of 2019. And this is gonna this was one of my favorites that they've announced so far. And that is Universal Monsters. This is gonna be interesting. So in this house we are going to be seeing monsters, classic universal monsters such as Frankenstein, Dracula, Wolfman. 
um, Creature of the Black Lagoon, Mummies, and so on and so forth. Now this is going to be a very, very interesting house. I'm curious to see what they do with it. Um, they have a gift shop, I know, where the old Terminator shop used to be. They transformed that into a Universal Monster shop, so they're kind of preparing us, I guess you could say, for Universal Monsters, which is going to be awesome. So now that I've told you what has been announced so far, let's talk about the locations and where these houses could be located at. So we're going to go through each of the 10 locations of where these entrances of these houses are going to be. Now remember, all this is just speculation. We have no idea if this is true or not until it's confirmed by Universal. Um, now I'm going to put a picture on the screen, hopefully, of the Universal Speculation Map. So here's that. So that's the Speculation Map. As you can see, if you want to go back and pause, there's 10 houses, 5 scare zones, and 1 show. As you can see here, I have not listed them all because they have not all been announced. But, we're going to go through each of the little red dots that you saw on the map and talk about what houses can be seen where. So let's jump over to our first location. So for location A, which is going to be right here at the main stage of Universal Studios where this line will be from last year, this house Stranger Things. This is Sound Stage 22. Now this is rumored to be a different house entrance this year. This is not rumored to be Stranger Things. This is rumored to be something else. So we don't know what's going to be here just yet. It's just rumored, though. We don't know. Maybe Stranger Things is going here. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So let's move on down to location B, C, and D. Let's see, they're all right next to each other within a couple blocks. So the entrance B is for Soundstage 25, and that is the entrance of Jimmy Fallon. You actually go through the Jimmy Fallon queue part of it to get to the Soundstage. And this will be housing Stranger Things, Season 2 and Season 3. This is rumored to be the location of where Season 2 and Season season 3 of Stranger Things will be located. Now it's surprising to me that it's not over there at the main stage. Just because you figure that Stranger Things would be the mega house this year. Because every year at Halloween Horror Nights they have what is quote unquote a mega house. Last year was Stranger Things. This year, it's not, because it's over here this time. So I'm curious to see what the Mega House will be. So yeah, this will be the entrance for Location B, Soundstage 25, Stranger Things. Rumored, like I said, we don't know for sure yet. Now over here, this is where two locations are located at, C and D. These are not announced yet. We don't know what houses are going to be here according to the speculation app. This is for soundstage 24A and 24B. Now it's the same soundstage, it's just split in half. Each house will take half the soundstage, and then of course you'll exit in the same area as the other house, and vice versa for each. So we don't know what's going to be here, so let's get, jump over to location E over by Fear Factor Live. So for location E, this is where we are going to be seeing it, right here where that sprung tent in the back, or as they call it, the MIBQ tent. We don't know what house is going to be here according to the speculation map, but this is location E. This is where we are going to be seeing an entrance to the house. Last year, this house, Blum House. So yeah, this is where one of the houses is going to go this year. So let's walk a little bit down that way for entrance F and entrance G. So here we are G. at entrance F and entrance G. This is our location for our two sprung tents, sprung tent 1, which is on the right side, sprung tent 2, which is on the left side. Sprung tent 2 is going to be having the entrance right here, or that sprung tent on the left, sprung tent 1 will be the entrance on the right, which is over here. Sprung tent 2 does not have a house just yet. We don't know what's going to be here, but there is going to be a location for one of the houses right here. Uh, for this one, however, sprung tent number one, which is that one right over there, is rumored to be housing Nightingale's. Nightingale's Blood Pit entrance is rumored to be right here this year, which I believe, I don't remember exactly, I think it was 
dead exposure that was here last year. So this is where we're going to be housing nightingales, if the rumor is correct. So let's jump on over to Kid Zone now for H and so I. So here we are in Kid Zone for location H and location I. Now we're going to start with location H, which is going to be near the entrance of Barney, which is going to be roughly around this general location. Um, entrance H is for the parade building. Well, there's two parade buildings that they use, but parade building B108. Yes, that's what the map says. B108 is what is going to be housing Universal Monsters. This is where Seeds of Extinction was last year. So this is where we're going to be housing Universal's Monsters. The Parade Building B-108. As far as location I goes, it's hard to read it on the map. I'm not sure. It can be in one of two places. Number one is over here. Right here. Which is right next to E.T. Right here. There's E.T. And this is for Parade Building B-79, which is where Trick or Treat was last year. We don't know exactly where this entrance is going to be. It's going to be either here or it's going to be or more over there towards Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster. But it's most likely going to be here because this is where uh, they normally put it. But on the map it shows it farther down that way. But this is where one of the houses is going to be. We don't know yet. So let's jump on over to our last location, location J, which is near Shrek 4D, which is where the house is located so let's jump on so over here we right are now. at location J um, this is where one of the houses is going to be it is taking place in the Shrek building Shrek theater 2 there are two theaters in the Shrek building Shrek uh, theater 1 and theater 2 theater 2 gets closed off and it's used for a house but this is where you will enter for this house there's no house to be rumored here just yet we don't know what it's gonna be but there will be a location here Last year was Halloween 4, I think it was called. Halloween, well it was Halloween. Michael Myers, the return of Michael Myers I think it was, that was here last year. So this is where one of the house locations will be. So that is all of the different locations. So let's head back to the Universal Arch. So that's going to conclude episode 1. We talked about what houses have been announced so far. We have three houses announced so far. The backstory of each of those houses and all the different locations we could possibly see each of the house's locations, or entrances, I should say. In episode two, when we start to get more and more announcements of houses, or scare zones, or even a show, I will be making more episodes. I don't know how many episodes this little mini-series will be, but we shall soon find out. Hopefully, I can make them pretty long. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be, roughly, but we shall see. As the event draws closer, we will see more and more progress, We'll talk about the scare zones and the show, if there's a show this year, we don't know yet. And then hopefully, when we start doing construction, I can do little construction updates here and there. So that's going to conclude episode one. If you guys like this video and you want to see more Halloween Horror Nights updates here on the Palace Network, make sure to leave a like, put a comment down below, tell me what houses you think are going to be coming this year. In episode two, I'm going to be talking about what houses I believe are going to be coming to this year's event that have not been announced already. So yeah, that is going to conclude, like I said, episode one. I'll see you guys in episode two. Peace out.